In this video, we will learn how to segment tumor portion in a MRI or CT scan images. Here you can see the particular region is just segmented or the object detection part and the number or the probability is given around the boxes that 0.11 probability is there that it's having tumor inside the MRI. In the third image, you can see 0.68, 0.21, 0.45 and somewhere it is 0.5. It's going to segment over here. In each image, you can see the tumor is going to segment tumor 0.77 and so on. So let's see how we are going to create this, this code. So new notebook, I'm going to create a new notebook and in this new notebook, I'm going to uh, create kidney detector uh, using YOLO 5 so I'm going to use YOLO 5 all right so first I'm going to create that code so uh, in order to first we need to cre cre create a clone so for this I'll open the Google Colab well, Google Colab to run my file rename this let's say kidney tumor image detection alright then I'm going to open YOLO v version 5 github alright so this is the official site of YOLO you can see this this link will lead you to the github code and here the github code will consist all the code and all the uh, different command and different uh, versions of over there so i'm going to copy this code for for quick start and going to paste it here all right so i'm going to run this command you just to enter codes and here you just enter the s percentage in order to version yolo version and i'm going to install this one r all right this percentage install r install and then i'm going to use this this term okay so first control x and then i'm going to use this code two three four five six seven eight ten all right so now i am having the next command that is yolo version 5 and install this r requirement dot txt and i'll using this code again curd c and will install our requirement or i'll use the qr and then q only for install robo flow r o b o flow so this will install RoboFlow. I'll explain what is the RoboFlow here and what is the requirement.txt here. So we will have the requirement.txt and then I'll have the on the left hand side I'll have the YOLO 5. So you will see where is the requirement.txt. You can see on the left hand side this requirement.txt and this file was not previously there until you do not clone this uh, YOLO version 5 and uh, i'm going to install roboflow and then i'm going to hit code all right then i'll use the important library meanwhile i my yolo version file and all these going to implement import tor torch and then import os and then from i i python i p y t h o i python dot display i'll use display function here and then from there from these two library i'll import the image comma clear underscore output all right so i'll import all these libraries here and then going to have that libraries now i am going to import that library 
okay so, so the next this next command we have is robo flow so what is the robo flow i'll explain later so first we will type robo flow for data set and labeling in the google and you can see blog dot robo flow blog and here it is this official site you can sign in and try it now for different uh, segmentation you can see that balloon segmentation is there bus they are going to segment and they are going to segment uh, the fish and any pen and any uh, annotation part is also done using uh, polygon uh, site and then so and so on all right so from there i'm from robo flow i'm going to import robo flow all right All right it's a robo flow and then i'm going to use rf is equal to robo flow function i'll use robo flow function and inside this function i'll use model underscore format is equal to yolo version 5 so i'm using yolo version 5 you can have yolo version 7 or any other uh, version so for this for that you can change the model format along with the i'm using notebook and what is the notebook here that is ultra like this is the ultra analytics right so i'm going to use that ultra analytics cut c and then going to paste it here all right so ultra analytics i'm going to paste it here you can see that upload and label your data set and get an api you can uh, get the api and just click on the robo sign in the robo flow site using your credentials and you can get your uh, data set all right so pip install robo flow and upload and so on right so this is done so you can see my kidney project is already there and i'll i'll show how, how to create this annotation and uh, kidney part so once i'll going to create copy this code all right and done and i had already done this segmentation part for 83 images you can see for the for eight images it's having testing and annotation there and for different version you can see that versions i can have 83 images and all these images are having view all images if you will click on all images that you can see all 83 images are there for that i have done the uh means uh, uh, this one uh, annotation part all right so i'll use this 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 keyword this these credentials but before that i'm going to create folder for the same all right so how to create folder so we need os environment os and y run an environment function and then then i'll use this data set underscore directory and inside this directory i'll use the certain folder where you want to create this folder so i'll use content uh, slash over content slash data sets right and then click run so you see on the left hand side inside the content you will have that folder so uh, if you will have that content folder you will see it it will display here models samples and everywhere means uh, it will reflect in few seconds and meanwhile we can you we can uh, add one uh, robo flow credentials i'm going to use that robo flow credentials which i had copied from robo flow site so i'm going to paste it here and my app api key is different your api key will be absolutely different because it's a unique for entirely world so this will download the entire data set here all right so you can see it's already downloaded here and already 
uh, going to zip that folder that zip uh, the entire images and all so now i'm going to train my yolo version 5 so on the Griven website all right so members is equal to there is some uh, some uh, error okay so project is equal to okay so download yolo yolo 5 project dot key one okay so it's having keyword missing so i'll use the keyword name here it's a kidney uh, minus e m j e g all right so it's a it's a my project name you can see somewhere it, it will be written over here and you will have to change that kidney name so kidney e m j e g is my workspace and i'll have to paste that uh, this word okay now you can see no error is showing and it's going to load and downloading the data set version and the zip folder is already there you will click on the left hand side you will see the sample data set is there and the sample data set and data set folder which we had created and inside this data set we had all, all the folders and all these kidney stone kidney one and kidney stone there so inside this kidney one data set you have two folders train so train is again consisting two folders images first it's having images so the first one i'll click on this folder you will see the entire images all right this is not having any any annotation part or any further part if you will click on the labels then you will have the particular labels of the, the data set the zero because we have only one class so if you will have two classes so zero one so i'm having only one class that is tumor it is having zero if i will have three classes so it will go it will go zero one two till zero one two so for the notable boost you must have this these coordinates also so it will have the impact of particular versions all right similarly if you will click on validation part and obviously it will have few images it will consist few images only five images are there and corresponding labels are also including in this data set so uh, these are the details about my data set all right okay so now i am going to i am going to click here i am going to train the yolo v5 model here all right i'm going to bold, bold this value okay so how to train this this model for this i'm having python so you can get this code from this this uh, this yolo 5 github command also so i'm having this one training part and for this you have trained yolo yellow weeds and also and so i'm going to copy this code and you i am going to paste it here okay just paste it here okay so it's having train dot pi and image what is the image i'm going to delete that part so that i'm going to have this this data set ahead and i'm going to epoch how many epochs i need so i'm having 100 as of now uh, uh <clears throat> i'll have image data set image size so this will have image size so i want to keep image size 416 and how many batch size i want to keep so i want to keep batch size as 16 and how many epochs i want to have i want to have 100 epochs weights i want to have means i i'll keep the weights here and then how i am going to create this this cfg i am going to create delete that cfg and going to epoch and weights all right and before this wait i am going to paste that data set all right not here but before the weights i am going to paste my data file and i am going to uh, means like insert my data file so this is data set dot location and then i'm going to find data 
dot yaml all right so where this data dot yaml file is there you can see on the yolo version 5 so you will see on the data folder you will have this data file all right so on the left hand side you will have the data file and you will have this 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 folder and your segmentation part you can see this python and you can see this models all right so in this model and in the in the given file you have data file all right data and then inside the images and inside the hyperparameters we have hyperparameter file inside the scripting file we are having scripting file and then we are having models all right and then we have date similarly we have data files also all right you will click on the classify you can have the predicting file and so on all right so similarly we have data dot yaml file and then we can have the particular data set all right so i'm going to delete this these this part this one and I'm going to batch size and delete all the necessary files right so how i am going to obtain this weights this weights are yolo v5 so i'll click on the left hand side i'll click on train and then i'll click on if you will click on yolo v5 yml point and if you will have any uh, particular weights right so we will have the weight over there on the right hand side weight py1 sample data data wi-fi ym file is there you can see here and on the inside the data set inside the train inside the label and inside the data file you will have that train function all right so model yml and we will have the train file okay so we will click over here and once you will go down you will see that yolo 5 version has small this is the this the this is the normal model this is the small and this is the medium this is large this is extra large and and so on so i am going to click on yolo version 6 open a new tab and you 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 will see that my points means my training points are already oh, going to start so i'll click on over here and just upload and go to the download site and my points are there i am going to open that file i am going to upload over in my folder all right so that's going to predefined pre-trained points in my data set in my uh, in my file all right so meanwhile it is going to uh, import or going to upload i'll write down the uh, file so i'll write down yolo the file name yolo v5 s dot pt these are predefined data set if you have different uh, uh, different uh, this one uh, different site uh, different uh, uh, location of your uh, weights then you can upload anywhere any other website if you have another site and then you can have another you can add your relevant training site further to your conversation all right so this will train the entire data set meanwhile we can write the further code for the after which will execute after the training part all right so i'm going to after this we are going to load extension of tensor board tensor board board and then inside this tensor board board we i'm going to log 
directory and going to run that file again all right so meanwhile it's going to upload it will take time because what's the size of this uh, this this uh, so i'm going to click on download and you can see it's a 14 mb around so this is going to upload in your file obviously it will take time and you can have i mean this value it needs to create this much time it needs to create and you can have your uh, predefined points predefined weights right in your data point and you don't need to create the yellow version file all right so i'm going to copy that path just click here and if i'll copy paste it here so it's going to paste it there going to run it here make sure it's 100 percent uploaded on your otherwise it will show error on on your while running the entire segmentation part right so it will run the particular epochs gpu time what is the box loss object loss and classification instance what is the particular validation part and then you have got to leave off now the upload part now i'm going to train this yolo version 5 all right make sure there is no error and you can see this is going to train weights data content and the data is going to make sure you have particular features and hyperparameters so weights are contained weights cfg is nothing data is going to content this is d3 uh, data yml and then we are going to have this hyperparameter tune and then and then going to you take that github account and learning rate is 0.01 you can increase the learning rate and weight says it going to create clear ml and so on this is going to train for 100 epochs this is zero then one two three four and so on and you can see the size is 416 instance is 28 and so on okay let's come to the labeling part mean by uh, my labeling is going to create so for this you will click on roboflow and create a new project and give any new project like uh, kidney segmentation all right and object detection you want what kind of project type you want to create seg semantic segmentation uh, a multi-label classification or, or or what we need bounding bounding box object detection and what will your project so will what will your project do so i'll create tumor segmentation here all right i'll perform two segmentation here so create public project you can create your private also so that might have some paid version or the another another part all right then we are going to select files so from the given folder i am having certain files uh, just click on the data kidney okay uh, it's inside the data set mm it's inside the image segmentation kidney images validation and images you can see so many kidney or mri scans are here so i'm going to draw drag and drop images for annotation purpose so these are apg and you can see on the left hand side it's going to create that annotation shortcuts and going to create that you can have polygon tools also i create like this one I want to have this that rectangle box every time i want to create the custom annotation part so for this i i'm going to create this 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 annotation you can see this is going to annotate my my portion and drawing the attention of the entire segmentation part so i'm going to save enter and then click on new image again similar kind of uh, portion i'm going to segment that and just click save enter and again second secondly i am going to create the second part this portion obviously we are not the medical guy but we we know that this is the uh, segmentation part 
okay so make sure you have created you have changed the runtime and change runtime type uh, runtime type a uh, none to gpu all right i am going to save that and obviously all the images are going to create and no issues we are we can create one more time all right hit enter install content this file and import torch all right then import robo flow robo contained and then create data set and then uh, install robo flow libraries and then train the data set that's it so this will become faster as of now so previously it was very slow and you can have the particular data summary and uh, how many g flops are there okay so so this is going to inflate your entire processing time this this gpu conversion will inflate your entire gpu time and facilitate the training portion all right you can see now it's a going performing fast okay so coming back to the kidney segmentation part so we know the we are the uh, the non medical guy but it's still few basic concept you must have like this is the uh, this is the bone area and something else is there and we have this kidney this this portion as the tumor segmentation all right then we have the next image obviously it will have certain uh, this one certain different location of the tumor and save enter and then coming back to the next part and let's assume this is the tumor all right so i'm powering your image your annotation part you have lots of images right so very quickly obviously it's a time taking process but no issues for the better project you will have the particular options so here the these are called bones part but we have this segmentation part and with paramount reverence you can have the particular value and particular annotation part save enter and the next image similarly save enter and then go to the next part obviously this is the some body part or any other uh, medical field then we have the another annotation part another image okay save save for the next image let's say i'm having this image and save for okay so for ease i'm going to take that rectangle that will create that will become faster faster for my data set okay save enter for the another part save enter for the another part save enter for the next image just save enter for the next image we are going to save next image we are going to save enter for the tumor segmentation we are going to save this image and save enter again annotate the second part and save enter this is done for the 20 images and we are going to create going to complete this this entire okay coming to the next part you can see all images annotated 20 not annotated nothing okay so save and continue you can see this is asking for how many images you want to keep in the training testing and so on so i can uh, as of now i don't have any testing image so i'll make it oh and make it only 15 percent 
in validation part 85 percent for training it's totally up to you the splitting uh, of images then continue and then this is going to upload the files all right then you can have the source image and the orientation and the augmentation so this is going to be going to create the augmentation step so if you want to create that rotation sharing brightness so any other uh, augmentation you want to add so certain outcomes will follow the the cropping the 90 degree okay so i'm going to use that rotation here and how much rotation you want to for the segmentation you can see these are this is having minus 50 degree and 5 degree and i'm going to create the apply and now before it was 20 images now you will see you will, you will have 54 images because few uh, few uh, annotated images are also there so 37 annotated uh, means augmentation uh, augmented images are also included here so then i'm going to generate that part and then this is going to generate my kidney segmentation and then you can have the start learning so once you 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 will select this robofro train and you will click on fast and you will select how many public models and this one and start training okay so i'm going to start train start learning and okay so fast so i'm going to train select data set public models i'm going to select version here and train from scratch and then start we are required to train okay i'm going to generate new version source okay so i'm going to I'm going to split that train spelling spelling part okay then save and continue then pre-processing and then augmentation add augmentation i'm going to choose the uh, rotation again apply and continue and then generate all right this will generate your entire data set and just click on start plus one click training result within 24 hosted endpoint available training created three okay so uh, uh, because i have done already the training uh, part and training session so it's not showing more options so you will select the yolo 5 version there and then proceed further you can see my results coming back to the py file so in this py file you have uh, means weights in the best data where is the where these weights are saved on the left hand side you just click on yolo file and go to the runs and inside this run click on train and inside this train you have exp folder and then we have e weights and we have best file uh, inside this weights we have best point so this best point is the weights and the last weights and we are going to copy that path and we are going to have that best wait for this uh, uh, for this training data set which we have just provided then this is the uh, tensor board where we are going to log and going to represent entire our uh, uh, performance entire data set to show data download links ignore outliers and start links and to complete process how it is going to display you can see this is the particular matrix this is the particular matrix on zoom and this is the precision this is the recall value this is the training part and this is the training close part and this is the object loss how many loss we have validation part and so on so this is all the research point of view as of now we are moving ahead and then we are going to execute one more 
command that is python and detect dot ey and here peigst weights we are having and i'm going to copy that path which i just copied from that copy path and what is the size of the, this image this is img this is 416 and this is the configuration part and configuration uh, is can have the change and i'm going to create it what to keep it 0.2 and then what is the source of my data set so i want to keep the source as the validation part so i'll click on the left hand side and data set and on the kidney one and the validation part and the images so inside these images i want to keep all my images there and i'll give the path to these images right then click on copy path right click and just close this button close this tab and paste it here valid images key source that's it i'm going to paste it that path and going to detect that part so if you want to check where is the text uh, this this uh, detect dot pie file so on the left hand side you will click over here uh, yolo version detect runs detect inside this detect experience and you will have detect this file and then once you will click on this detect you will see that here we are having tumor and 0.64 right if you click on the next next folder you will have that tumor is having 0.50 that's it all right so this is how we can show our image and i can close tab all right if you want to display showing tumor images all the images so what i'll do i'll import the g globe and hit enter so from this from i python dot display going to import image comma display and then i is equal to zero and for image name in globe dot globe i'll choose the the detect experience and how many images this is this this runs okay so contain images so you just click here and inside the not inside the data set but inside the detect experience we are going to copy this path right just click codes and inside the content yellow version 5 runs detects experience and all these files i'm going to create experience dot jp g so i'm going to create that file all right so the, all these file i'll click one like one and then if i is less than equal to five how many images are there if you have more than five you can cre increase the counter over here so display i'm going to create display and inside this image i'm going to create file name equal to image name and then hit enter going to print and then going to print new line all right so just click here and you can see all these images are shown here tumor and how much probability is there again tumor probability is 0.49 and again if you have one two three four 
5 so it's again having 0 0.5 0 0.64 it's showing tumor it's showing it's not showing tumor because it's not going to detect or annotate the part and not having any tumor healthy image you can see so you you, you are going to certain you perform the certain outcomes will which will follow and your expectation in the realistic manner will have the certain augmentation part so this is done and this is you can save this file save image and just save image in your folder and you just click on the click on the new folder and just download this you can see that the tumor is there and tumor segmentation is there right this is how we can augment it or we can segmentation any tumor in the given folder thank you very much